already up. There it goes. All right, so we are switching over. We are playing the Rhythm of the Wild Vanifar deck. Okay, so this is pretty similar to other versions we have played of this deck. Uh, we've got a bunch of mana dorks. Um, we've got a single Scrib Ranger, no Wall of Roots. That's interesting to me, and no oozes either. So this is really trying to just go in on this uh, combo, but it has the ability to gain like infinite life with Finks through infinite blocks, tons of counters with the Glenelandra combo. Um, and then Rhythm does give us the ability so our creatures can't get countered. And then um, we get Riot, so then we're able to um, either get Haste or the plus one, plus one counter. So with Manifar, that's pretty nuts because then we can just use it right away. Uh, Cyborg's pretty pretty stock here, so I'm not going to spend too much time on that. Let's just let's go ahead and just jump right into another league. I just want you guys all to know that there is definitely a lack of responsibility on my part. Like I'm in the sixth week, six week of a seven week class. I have like. A final exam due next week, final paper due next week. Haven't started on either of them. Um, other than be telling myself I will start on them. <laughs> and uh, I really should be doing homework right now, but I felt like this stream was just really important and I should get it, you know, get the stream going. And then, you know, after that, we'll, uh, we'll figure out where we're at in life and see if we want to, see if we want to do some homework. I'm probably staying up to like, 1 a.m. plus tonight to knock that out, but that's so much I love playing Magic. It makes you do stupid things, right? Alright, so we're definitely going to get Shadow. They just shocked for no reason. Yeah, you know, it really is this whole online class business. I hate online classes with such a passion. Oh my gosh. We needed that opponent. All right, so we do have to go fetch up um, a breeding pool here because I want to be able to cast our Crassus, our Prime Speaker. Um, we need the second green source, so we're going to have to take some damage. Drop this Spell Skype and pass it over. Tomorrow, I'm not going to the tournament for sure. I, I do, I am going to like try to knock out like one or two assignments tonight because I got to do a 500 page paper. I got to do three 300 page responses. I mean, 300 word responses and a 500 word uh, thing. I got a, a quiz, a reflection paper due, and um, a problems and a questions assignment due for this week. So, and then next week I have the final exam and the final paper. So I'm trying to knock out the initial response tonight and maybe the homework assignment. And then tomorrow I'll try to knock out the rest of it. So then what I can do is just focus on um, focus on the paper. on Because I'm, I'm going to the tournament on Sunday, so i got to focus on the paper um, this week as much as possible. Try to get like maybe half of it done. Or at least do a lot of the research. If I can get the research out of the way, I'd be pretty excited. There is a shadow. Gormog. I could really use a land here for a fix. That's rough. All right, we're passing it over. And we're gonna take the hit here. And I could really use a Finx right now. I mean, uh, mana. Yes! We're so good at this game. Don't counter it, opponent. Don't do it. Okay. So, here. I'd like to block the Gormog Angler with Fanks and take the hit from the Death Shadow. 
Nope. Swap that. We're t blocking the Death Shadow and taking the hit from the Gormog. So then next turn we can Eldritch Evolution. As long as they tap their other blue so they don't have... Uh, come on, opponent. Tap the other blue. Okay. Come on, just tap out. Play another threat. Play two threats. We're not even trying to win right now. We're just trying to stay in the game. Yeah. It's not even great for us, but. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, evolution away our spell sky. Flicker the restoration. Uh, get a restoration angel. Wait, 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 wait. No, wait. We have a zealous conscripts in this version. Yeah, we have a zealous. We're just gonna send away the thanks. Get a zealous. Grab their gormok and kill them. Concede opponent? Ha <laughs> 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 Victory. <laughs> Draw spell, right? And usually, if we were strictly just like um, trying to combo off, I could see that being uh, having value. But like the hard part with playing those kind of cards in a deck like this is that we want to have as high of a creature density as possible because of cord, and then having uh, sacking it away with Eldritch. So the more spells we put into the deck, like putting the four rhythms in here, is already a bit a bit of a stretch. So I, I don't think, as much as you know, I love being able to draw more cards, send things back in. Um, so it's yeah, so we can put our pieces back. It's I don't think we're able to in this version of it right now. So I like Thrag Tusk a lot, and I like Thrun for just like the infinite blocks. Um, Glenolandra seems pretty sweet. Getting maybe get another one of those. The Finks has seen pretty solid for being a blocker. If we're on the play, I'd consider bringing in the Rex Sage, I mean the Relic, but as of right now, I don't think we need it. Um, and so like infinite blockers with the Finks and the Rhythm, I think is just super solid. Um, I'm gonna try to trim some of our non-essential pieces. To try to still stay alive, I mean, try, try to bring this stuff in without uh, affecting our g original game plan too much. So I think I'm gonna uh, trim a Crassus here uh, because we are bringing in more three drops. I'm also gonna uh, trim one Kiki Jiki, and so bringing in take out that. Um, I kind of want to take out the the, uh, the I would like Eldritch. I think I'm gonna take out the cords instead. So the, the uh, it's gonna be high commitment to mana for cord usually, and they're gonna be able to stubborn denial it. And then I think this is where we want to be at, just with a heavy, as heavy a creature plan as we can with really strong threats. Not terrible. 
Uh, we're not doing anything for the first couple turns, but like it seems pretty strong to be able to go into Glenelandra and then with them beating themselves up so much, dropping a, um, a Zealous again and just killing them with it. Worst case scenario, we get to steal one of their uh, Death Shadows and if we have enough life, it just dies. Oh yeah, I'm expecting the Gromag. No doubt. Oh, Tassiger. It's not as bad. Drop out this bird and pass it over. So I want to make sure we grab, I think, a breeding pool here. So then that way, if anything happens to our bird, we still have the mana to uh, get out this breaching and get out this uh, Glenelandra. Okay, okay. Uh, there goes both our bird and our Eldritch Evolution. We didn't need them anyway. It's okay. It's okay. I am surprised by the Tassiger. Alright, so we'll grab breeding here. No damage. Pass to us. Wooded Foot Hills. I want to be able to uh, cast white if I need to later on, so I'm going to have to shock myself a little bit more. Oh, wait, no. This version it doesn't even run uh, Resto, so we're good. We're good. I'm just going to grab a forest here to prevent some damage. And then we're just gonna run out the things. Yeah, this version is just a uh, rug. It makes it a little bit easier on all those shock lands, not having to take all that pain. All right, so we definitely need to go like land, land here. is fine. <laughs> they got redundant Glenelandras and we don't mind if they take Zealous. It's, it's a ways off anyhow, right? Alright, Bellower's a bit punishing because uh, we're not even anywhere close to that mana. Ugh, I'm going to start swinging here. I want to keep the creature for uh, if we draw another Eldritch. So I'm not going to block with it, so I might as well swing. Now this is an interesting version. I've only seen blue and black spells out of them too. Like, Okay, they just want to dismember it. It's fine, opponent. You know, who are we anyway, you know? We didn't, we didn't even want any creatures or, or anything. We, we just don't want anything. Just kill us. Oh my gosh. Oh, sorry. Oh. 
Oh, Scrib Ranger can take a single hit. We can trade with a snap, and we're still on a two turn clock with the Tassiger. Or we take the hit, go down to six, and then cast. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Inquisition, it's fine, it blanks out anyway. They got a, they got a removal spell? Yeah. Alright, that's gonna be it for us. back play oh this is rough <laughs> hmm so there's just a really high chance that they have a you know a turn one removal spell for the noble um, and with having duplicate rhythms here I think we're gonna just mulligan this is better we'll keep this Christ this is good too so we're just gonna run out the grows in because I wanna have that crassus. So we're just gonna play this, play the noble, and pass it over. Yeah, Tassiger was GG, but if it was a Gormog, they would have killed us faster, though, right? Okay, yeah, there was this figure. We'll go Misty and pass it over. Thought sees. I'm expecting them to take Vanifar. And thanks for joining us, Cass. Hope you're doing well, man. Oh, I took the bounding, okay. I guess they just didn't want us to have a play this turn. Uh, we're gonna grab a breeding pool, so we have all of our mana covered. Play out the wood and oh, then and pass it over to them. All right, so we just need one land here and we can start doing a lot of great things. I, I probably, like, I have a Vanifar list and I have a bunch of, like, extra cards that would go into it. So I, if I don't have this list, I would only be a few cards off of it. All right, I'm going to grab, I want to make sure I grab a green source here um, still because I want to have the accessibility to it. Um, and I'm going to grab... The stomping ground, I think, is I want to get closer to that triple red if we need it. There is an argument that I really should be getting for another blue source, and then we could counter multiple times with a Glenalandra, which is pretty reasonable, actually. I've talked myself into it. I'm going to go with the breeding pool. I'm gonna run out the Van. I mean, not the Vanifar, but the Glenolandra first here, um, just so we can stop them from doing anything after this, and then we can run out the. If we draw, if we draw a land, we'll be able to hold up a counter. Otherwise, we're going to swing with the Glenolandra probably, um, and then hold up the mana with breaching, and then cast breaching, and then go Vanifar. If they want to burn removal spells on it, that's fine. Because I'll have to do a double up. It's pretty good. So we are going to get this and 
I really do want to get closer to um, having more red sources if we need it. So I'm going to snag the steam vents here, shock ourselves, and we're going to run out a Vanifar. And I'm not going to block with the Glenelandra anyway, so I'm just going to swing in the sky and hit them for one. Hmm, Thoughtsies. I don't think I want to counter that, though. Because I think the Glenelandra is just more worthwhile. Oh, they want to kill it. Okay, that's unfortunate. All right, well, if we draw any creature, um, we should be able to do great things. Any creature. Dang it. Okay. We're going to swing at them. Getting down to the nitty gritty. We really need to draw a creature. Finks would be great. Sack it. Get a resto. Gain more life. here <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh that's sad okay um I guess oh man <laughs> all right well we're passing Sure, you can inquisition us. <laughs> Why couldn't Vanifar just be a, a, a person? Just not a, le not a legendary creature. <laughs> you know, my deck did get answer my call of giving me a creature. All right, a block. All right, we're gonna we're gonna thin this deck just a little bit more. to do this twice <laughs> please tell me they don't have an answer to this <laughs>
Ah, uh, no issue. No issue. Zealous conscripts both times for the win. <laughs> oh. We were obviously the better player and just outskilled them. You know, it was a very intense game. Back and forth, tons, tons of intricate plays, you know. And then. <laughs> oh. Okay. Three lands. No plays till turn three. And then if we draw a land, we're in a pretty good spot. Um, we are on the draw. If they're on like burn or something, there's a good chance we're just we would die with this hand. Um, but let's let's keep this. This this has a lot of the cards we want in our hand for the most part. If we had a dork, this would be even great, better. But can't have everything. Plains is uh, not a bad start for us. Alright, they're on the Boro Soldier deck. See if we can grind them out. What a reflecting ball. I feel like this is a bit different. We could either run out Thanks, or we can run out the Crassus. Um, Crassus doesn't seem bad here. So, like on their turn, we can just tap down their Garrison, and then um, that would prevent their Thali from attacking. Where if we run out Thanks, they could easily just um, path the Thanks, uh, and then they still swing with everything. So. Here, if they do path the uh, Crassus, we would still be getting uh, fading one turn out of that garrison. I still get to tap it. <clears throat> so we can run out the prime speaker here and force them to have a um, force them to have a path. Um, otherwise, we can run out the Finks again. If we do run out the Vanifar, there's just a really high upside of that if they don't get rid of it, we'll be able to untap with Finks, and I think we'll just win the game there because we'll be able to gain life, resto it, gain more life, and then just gain massive presence. So I think the upside of running out that Vanifar is just so high that that's the line we're going to go with. What is what is this? Is this is this a card that I, I'm supposed to know? Dawnbringer Chariot, Chariot of Tears, Flying Lifelink two four. Whenever you cast a spell, the target and put a counter on it. Okay, opponent. Okay.
they played a land this turn already, right? Yeah. They played a planes. So they can't cast anything, right? So I'm not missing that we can just block this and get rid of it. Am I missing anything here? Are there any spells that could cast and just blow us out and kill our Vanifar? Or do we, you know what, Look, we're just taking the two. I don't, I don't even care. It's, we're at 12, we're gonna drop the Finks, we're gonna be in a great spot. No, they can't bolt because they have a Thalia. Gutshot would only do one point of damage. Our Vanifar is a two four, that's only a two three. I don't know. It, it, it doesn't even matter. I didn't, I didn't even want to risk it. Okay. So we are... We are going to go Finx here. Gain some life. Sack the Finx. Gain some more life. Hippocamp, untap. Untap. Grab another Hippocamp, untap. Got a Kiki Jiki? We got a Kiki Jiki? We're gonna we're gonna save targets and always yield. Oh, we got there. We got there. Okay, so I think we want to bring in the Abrades, the Finks, the Thrag Tusk, and that should put us in a pretty happy spot. Oh, thanks for the thanks for the house. I don't know what that means, but I think that means you're sending people my way. So, much appreciated, Marin Moon. We're going to bring these in. And then we're going to cut one Kiki Jiki because they're on a more aggressive game plan here. I want to cut out one Bellower. I don't mind cutting one Crassus here. And I think we're going to cut two chords no yeah I'm actually gonna cut the glenolandra and a chord no glenolandra's got pretty pretty great value no that's fine we're gonna run it like this well thanks for everyone for joining we are uh, playing vanifar pod we're playing a version right now that has rhythm in it uh, this hand's pretty solid, got a lot of quality creatures. Uh, I'm Voodoo. I am uh, streaming on Sunday nights and Wednesday nights. I play all modern, all my videos I'll upload at the uh, within a day or so. Uh, so if you're interested in checking out any of that stuff, you're more than welcome to. And if you ever want to see a particular deck get played, just let me know. I'm more than happy to play any deck. Right now I'm on a pretty big uh, Vanifar kick. Oh, I do remember that deck. You like blew me out with a bunch of rats. You just like made five five rats and swung at me and killed me. Well, I appreciate it, man. Oh, 
Alrighty, we're gonna run out this. Crassus. And we're just gonna swing. And it's a uh, well, pretty slow hand, it seems like. Okay, they're gonna fairground wardens us. See if they want to exile, probably the Crassus. No, the Finx. Okay. I'm gonna run out this hippo camp. Does it to lands too? Forgot that. Okay. It's pretty solid. We're gonna run out Prime Speaker. We're gonna swing at them for six. And if we untap here, we win the game. I know, we should have untapped the mana door, but it doesn't even matter. Our hands were slow enough that we just got there, so. We, we, we got lucky. Definitely got lucky. Starting off a strong 2-0. So what deck do you guys think I should play on Sunday? I got, um, I'm definitely playing a Vanifar deck. And I'm leaning pretty heavily to that deck we played first part of it. Um, and then just taking out one of the Finks for another Crassus. I mean, a Crassus or another Deceiver. Yeah, it definitely stops the combo. We were just going to value them out as what my plan was going to be. All right, all dorks and a spell skite. This is great. If we draw anything, we win. Here we're gonna we're gonna run out the spell sky. And then we're gonna play a bird and pass it over. They are on the burn plan. I'm pretty excited to have a spell skite in play. Ritual into a Jaya? What is going on? Blow up a blue permit, shoot three to something, can't regenerate. Six damage to everything. I I don't know what's going on, I'm so excited. Okay, we're going to run out this noble. 
And then we're just going to hit him for two in the sky. There is a lot of spice today. Snaring Bridge. Lucky for us, we have these nobles. Hmm. Okay, we can run out the Kiki Jiki. But there's a strong chance. If you send me that Soul Tie Rat Stick, I'm definitely down for playing that. We could run out the Kiki Jiki and make it extremely difficult for them to deal with our creatures because we can just copy that spell skite. But if they play like a Wrath Effect, then we're pretty much done here. Um, and I don't think that's I don't think that's a bad plan right now to just go on this. Ability for them not to deal with the like, they can't deal with the uh, the Kiki and the spell sky and then We're just going to swing with the spell sky get that exalted trigger Sweet, I will do. See if we can play that on Sunday. able to find you and uh, pulled up the deck so I think we're good okay so we're going to copy the spell sky take that spell Fantastic. That's good. Oh, wait, no, that's not a game. Those are three twos. Cannot attack. Okay. Recalibrate. We are just going to take out Chandra with the bird in the sky.
another Chandra. Things should just be trying to shoot us, right? Exile the top and just try to shoot us for two every turn. We're going to copy our noble here to get an extra point of damage. We could do it one more time, but it doesn't kill the Chandra. So that's, I think we're good with where we're at. Oh, you're right, because it does just destroy a blue permanent, and yeah, Spell Sky can't redirect that. I was only thinking about the damage. Who plays Jaya in Modern? This is quite the brew. Oh, and they've got a war boss. Okay, okay. Do the same thing here. I'm going to copy this noble. And then that way I can kill a Chandra on our turn. can kill Chandra here. And pass it over to them. Why do I feel like that Jaya is just going to blow up the entire board and then we're just going to be resetting here in a bit? Another Blood Moon, okay. Pretty sweet. Three damage a turn. All right, we got a rabble master now. Bridge is usually fine with the creatures that they have because they're just creating a bunch of one drops. 
So like ideally here, they're just going to be um, swinging with it once they just amass a whole board of them. So. Got another noble. You want them to burn at the stake us? Don't wish that evil on us. Yeah, like here they're gonna be making two tokens and be swing for five. We can only block um, two of them efficiently. And then we'll be taking three, and then every turn they're just doing that more and more, so. keep the pressure up here but I'm afraid like they can just discard a spell right now with Jaya and shoot our Kikijiki we'll have to redirect it to spell sky and then we're gonna lose our spell sky Oh, they're shooting our bird. I'm okay with losing the bird. Because we can still accomplish the same thing swinging with the noble. That is interesting that they would do that. <clears throat> I felt like they could have just killed our spell skite there, right? And then they could have just been able to start pinging off everything on our board. So. That I'm actually just gonna let it go to our turn. Okay, Vanifar is great. Too bad we can't copy it this turn because Kikiji can only copy non legendary creatures. So I think here we're just gonna pass. It's pretty much just our game to lose at this point, so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, that's that's a good call, Greg. If we don't block with uh, Sky, we can copy it. But if we do block with it, we just have to leave Kiki up. So then we can make a copy of it if necessary. So...
So I'm good with blocking with everything. I'm just going to hold up Kiki. Because then if he does any spell to kill ourselves, we can copy the spell's kite and have the spell's kite eat that. So here, they can just discard the spell in their hand. Okay. Just making sure. We can... We can start Thrag Tusking. We can copy Spellskite, sack away the Spellskite token with Vanifar, go get a 3-drop. The 3-drop I think we could get would be our um, Reclamation Sage. Blow up their Ensnaring Bridge. Um... Blow up their ensnaring bridge, and then we could. Hmm. Because if we if we try to combo off here, they're just going to uh, discard the card in their hand that we can't attack. Alternatively, we can just um, go get Fink. We can go get Scrib Ranger. Go get Finks, and then gain some life and then just try to just like set ourselves up. I'd really like to get ourselves to the position to, if we evolution away a noble, we can go get a, um, get the, no. I don't really, this is, this is awkward. Yeah, I was, um, this is game one, right? Am I losing my mind? This is game one? Or is this game two? Because I'm pretty sure the Rex Age is in our sideboard because the main list doesn't have it. No, the, yeah, yeah, the main list does not have it. I was looking at the list that had everything in it. And that's why I thought it was in this list. Yeah, this is this is game one. So, um, hmm, Glenalandra, Zealous doesn't do enough for us here. I think we just go get a 3-drop and go get a Finx. And we can just copy that Finx over and over and over again if they don't want to deal with it. And we'll just gain the same amount of life and that, that'll put them out of the game because we can, we can swing through them. Uh, with, the, with the nobles here, so... If we Kiki Jiki, the Finks gain two more life, sack that, and go get a um, a Glenalandra. That seems pretty good right now.
All right, so I don't want to cast any spells now. We're in a pretty awesome spot with this Glenological. They're going to generate one token. We can eat two of them a turn. If they want to use their one spell this turn to kill Glenalandra, that's fine. It's going to come back. So. All right, they're blowing up the board. All right, so if they blow up the board, we're going to be left with a Finks and a Glenalandra. So. And then they die because. No, they're not dead yet. But they're in a pretty bad spot. We'll drop a rhythm. And we'll pass it over to them. Okay. They got nothing passing it to us. We've got a Finx. give it a counter because if I get a noble I can swing with it. Haha! <laughs> Success! Okay, so we're bringing in the Rex Sage, and I'd like to bring in the Abrades, the Ancient Grudges, I don't mind the Flame Slashes, Finks seems solid just to like gain a bunch of life against them, they're pretty aggressive here. We need Shatterstorm. I think we're fine with just the, the abrades, the ancient grudges, and the and the Rex Sage we're bringing in. I don't need the duplicate here. I think this is a really expensive spell that we don't want to get caught with if they moon us. We're gonna take out one Crassus. I'm going to trim two of the rhythms here. I... Let's see what that brings us up to. Uh, 62. I think I'm going to trim one chord and one prime speaker. No, I'm going to... I won't bring the prime speaker away. I'm going to cut the one Eldritch. As in, cut the kill Kiki combo, or just cut one more Kiki and then go down to zero. We're gonna mull this. This hand doesn't do anything. We had double rhythms, and then we're not casting Creature until turn four, and then then we need Eldritch Evolution. So we're gonna ship that hand. Um, this hand's fine to keep. don't care for the breaching though, so we're gonna, we're gonna ship that. Okay, I am gonna crack this wood of foothills right now and go get ourselves a green source. Don't want to get caught with them ritualing into a blood moon or anything. Yeah, we did cut one Kiki. Okay, there is the Desperate. And there's a rival master. Okay. Not blocking. 
Um, I'm going to run out the groves, and we're just going to deal with the Rabble Master right now. And we'll pass it over. Ritual again into a Jaya. Okay. Alright. I think we're just going to pass here because if they do anything, we can run out the Crassus and then block their Jaya if that's the route they want to go. Or we can go Crassus, untap our bird, and then run out the script. And if they want to use Jaya, discard a card and blow up our grasses, so be it. Take the damage there, and then we're gonna run out this script ranger. <laughs> I think we're gonna shock ourselves and run out this Glenalandra, and then we're gonna swing for one with the script ranger. swing with both creatures there, but I'm happy to just swing with Glenalandra. Because if they swing here, I'm just going to untap the Glenalandra and return the forest to my hand and then block it. And if they just want to kill Glenalandra right now, then we can't. That's fine. We can't help that. return no matter what though it's pretty crazy we gotta get rid of that jaya running out the Rex Sage just because I want another creature out there and we can No it's so we have a we have Ancient Grudge though is the thing. So like yeah. I'm gonna run out the Rex Sage, have another creature on board.
right, there goes Queen Alondra. They gave up a war boss for that. Wow. Alright, there's an ensnaring bridge. Take the one. And then we're going to blow up that ensnaring bridge. We got a bird. We're going to swing. We could really use a better quality threat. Just give us any creature. Green, preferably. Not even swinging. from the air. Hmm. I have to imagine, like, why wouldn't they just start shooting down yeah, all of our creatures? Imagine we'll lose our Rex Sage this turn. Fetch up an island. Zealous. Okay. We can use one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we can use Zealous, take their Jaya, and then shoot it. a card in their hand, take out that Zealous. It's fine. We're going to use the Jaya and kill itself. Zealous is so good. Sure. I'm not even going to swing there with the Rex Sage because if we can get an evolution and go right to five, that'd be amazing for us. I don't really want to trade it with a goblin. Yeah, thanks. Swing.
sure. Kind of braid it. It comes right back. If I want to trade one here, I'm fine with that. Let me make them lose their creature. We're going to bring them down to nine. All right, I got a chalice for one. Can get rid of it whenever we want with that garage, but I don't see any real reason to take care of it right now. We'd rather get rid of a. Uh... Yeah, opponent's been opponent's been a bro. Alright, seriously, what's up, what's up with all these lands? We're drawing a bunch of lands. They're drawing a bunch of lands. Big old land fest. Sure. We got two lands in hand upon it. The jig is up. Yeah, you know, the list um, uh, has been pretty crazy. So, like, some of them are at 23, like this one here. And then there's other ones that are as low as um, 21. I don't think, uh, unfortunately, this list right now to me, um, I haven't been impressed by it because we haven't been able to see the rhythm into Vanifar. Um, so right now, the, the list that I've liked the most is the one that we actually played earlier with the rest of the key, key, uh, the kitchen things. I think I just might tweak the, li the list just a tad um, so I can play the... Uh, uh, so I can play another Crassus or a Deceiver Exarch. Because I'm, I'm expecting a lot of aggressive decks on on uh, Sunday. Woot woot. 3-0. I don't know. Maybe I should be playing this deck of 3-0. <laughs> All Sunday is the uh, IQ Plus. So, um, I got a group heading out there. We got Part Team Swish and Reese, if he ever wants to join that, probably make that happen. But, um, you know, we got a four man group, and then we got another group from uh, Big Rapids heading up there to meet us as well. Probably should pre register if we can pretty soon here. I don't know, I'm not, uh, Burn is solid, but it's just not my play style. Like, I don't enjoy playing, oh, this hand's so unfortunate. We had, like, two lands or something, I don't know. But, well, we're, we're shipping this, because we have a single island and a bunch of green spells in hand. Okay, we'll keep it. Ooh, we got rhythm, let's do it.
I usually find myself playing, um, like, this is the kind of deck I really enjoy playing because it's uh, Pod. Um, and that was the deck that I played the longest time. Um, I play Tron a lot, but I play Tron, honestly, not because I really enjoy playing Tron, but just because it's Tron and it's a really strong deck. Hmm. I think we're going to run this out there. We're going to drop a Noble. And we're going to give it the counter and just pass here. The other decks that I really like to play, I've never, I haven't been able to invest enough time to tweaking or playing it uh, to high enough quality. Which player draws a card? Okay. Um, so the reason I did this is because I wanted to cord for one um, to put it in play with another plus one plus one counter and have a stronger threat in play, which is what I'm going to do at their end step here. can go and I'm gonna grab the red source. We can Vanifar. We can go fetch it up. Alrighty. So this is finally us being able to see what this deck can do with uh with this in play. So we can go Vanifar. We're gonna give it haste. Sack away the bird. Bird's gonna go get us a scrib. Doesn't really matter. Untap. Return. Sack away the scrib. Crassus. Uh, we'll give it counter, I guess. And then we're going to untap the Vanifar. Sack away that. Yeah, no, for sure. This deck is definitely still in need of work. Um, I don't like the Vizier combo enough. Uh, it is it is so all-in combo, and it doesn't do everything that I'm looking for, unfortunately. Okay, so we can do this, get zealous. Zealous can untap Vizier, and then we can go get Bellower. Um, and then we can chain back up to Kiki Jiki. Kiki Jiki can copy. Oh no, we're gonna, we're. I think we're short because uh, the other Crassus is in our hand. Okay, so we're gonna sack the breaching here because we've got we've got one Crassus, one breaching, and Zealous left in, in the deck for the the pieces, and if we go get. Zealous now. Zealous can untap it, and then we can go up to Bellower. Bellower will fetch us up a Crassus again. 
but then we can't go from because we have the other crassus in our hand we can't but get you know we would normally be able to go crassus into breaching into kiki kiki copy bellower bellower gets the final piece here with crassus but because it's in our hand we can't set ourselves up for it so at that point it may be better for us um the scrib is already in the graveyard, there's only one in the deck. Yeah, normally they just play a one of. Um, I'm thinking our best play here is just to grab Zealous right now and kill, or we can grab Kiki right now give it a plus uh, the plus one plus one counter and double exalt and kill the uh the jace and then i think we just have to pass and then on our turn we win yeah for sure i don't know i like the traditional deck i should be playing probably is just tron like, it's a solid deck. It does what it needs to do. Um, if I had more practice with the deck, I probably should be playing the Blue-Red Phoenix deck because that deck's just a really strong deck. Um, but I'd like to play this deck on Sunday and just see what I can do with it. Okay, so this is fine. So our opponent's going to tap down our board, but then we're just going to play Crassus and untap our creatures and win the game. Yeah, the green white value town with um with the voted in it i like that list more than just the straight up combo list for vizier because that version I, I didn't like it because i played it a bunch and the the combo was so fragile and you were you were so you were you were just asking for the coco to give you the answers which i really hated where like this ver this deck lets me fetch it up with the prime speaker or the evolution of the cord i know they played some uh amount of cord but it just wasn't enough for me but my uh my friend kyle plays the um he plays the green white value deck and i really enjoy the way he handles it because he he does it very very well with the deck um, so it looks like what we're going against a taking turns deck. Um, I don't think we necessarily need anything. Uh, we just want to combo off as much as possible. But I would like to have another Glenalandra in here. And I don't mind cutting one rhythm for that. Yeah, but I'll, I'll see what, what where it goes, honestly. I might change my mind by the time we get to Sunday. This hand doesn't do enough fast enough for us to keep up with uh, a taking turns deck, because I'll just start. By the time we drop this on turn four, they'll be going into turn five, and they should be cleaning up the game with it. So I think we're going to mull this, and we'll keep this. Oh, that's a fair call, George. Thank you. 
see if our opponent has an answer to it. Click there. Ugh, that was it. We had the game. Ugh, I thought I clicked on the Bre the Glen. Glen go gets Zella. Zella's go gets the Howler. Howler gets the Crassus. Go back up to Kiki. Kiki copy Bellower. Bellower gets us the third Crassus, and we win the game. Oh my gosh! Oh, I misclicked. I'm so sad. My life is eternally sadness now. I think we're just going to ship it here because we can't do anything. Um, evolutioning doesn't really give us any, we can go get Kiki Zealous or any of that, it doesn't do anything and then um, Bellower only go get say, Bellower, there's some thought for it to get something to deal, yeah no, there's nothing of true value with it so um, we're just going to pass here. If they have Jace casting it, that should mean they don't have a um, an extra turn spell right now, though. That's pretty sweet. All right, I think we're going to cord here for one so we can get a creature on board. See if they have a response. All right, they don't. We're just going to go for it. So we're going to sack Linalandra. Sure, tell me time's fine. Give it a counter. That'll cancel out. We can get the Zealous Conscripts here. Zealous will untap our Prime. Un get away Glen again. Comes back with a counter. We get Kiki Jiki, and we win the game. All right. That was supposed to happen previously, but that misclick cost us so much. So, all right, four and zero. Oh. Going into the last game of this league. Oh. 
Yeah, I love t uh, Titan Shift too. Actually, that was the first deck that uh, I snagged back up when I came back to Modern. Um, uh, it it just it just did well in a big event recently, um, which was nice to see that the deck's still around. Um, I I just have the hardest time playing that deck because we're. <laughs> yeah, this deck is great against anyone that doesn't interact with us. Um, if they start playing removal spells, I'm just like, oh my gosh, why am I even here? Yeah, I have yet to play the Breach Shift deck. I've been blown out by that, that deck a lot, though. <laughs> yes, Reese, this is your rhythm deck and it's definitely putting in work. We are 4 0 with it. <laughs> I own Grishel Brand. Um, I've played it a couple times. That that deck seems so close to just like crushing the format, but the the fact that like I don't know, it's it seems like it needs one more piece. Uh, of the redundancy in it, so I don't know. I like the fact that they're um, they're Grixis now. I do like that. It's uh, that new surveil card was solid for it. Hmm. Two lands, duplicate rhythm, and a Kiki. I don't think we can keep this. This hand's got an expensive Bellower in it, but we've got two lands bird into a rhythm, so we're going to go ahead and keep this. Uh, we do not need the duplicate rhythm. doesn't really matter because we're fetching anyway. But um, I'm going to go grab a forest here and play this bird. Okay, we are against Double Bloom. Whew, that's nasty. Play that and pass. Yeah, we'll see if we can do it. the land that turn. Okay. I think we're just going to pass here. We can cord for two. Which means we can snag our spell skite if necessary. But I don't know if it's going to matter. Got no main board enchantment answers. Okay, they're passing it back to us. I think we should go get. Hmm, I think we should go get Spell Sky while we have the chance. Just to have it on the board.
Yeah, if he has Adnals, but we if he had Adnals, we were losing no matter what, right? Because like, if we want to go to cast any spell, he just responds and goes off. So if he doesn't have it, in my mind here, we if we get the spell scout on board at least, we can make him have a higher commitment to it, and then we can uh, use our life to make him discard more cards. I mean, that's really never an answer, but... They got lightning storm. It's over. I'm gonna take a quick glance at their deck. See if there's anything weird we should be looking out for. I doubt it. Deck is pretty stocked. Okay. Linalandra and Rexage seems good for us. Are we attempting to try to mess with them at all? To try to blow up their artifacts? I don't know if that's really worth it for us here. That's a fair point, Shanks. But like, are we ever, like, if we're just swinging with Noble though, um, and passing, we're not gonna be able to, like if we don't draw land, we're not gonna be able to accord for two in response. And then we're just going to be in a losing situation the longer it goes on, aren't we? Because he has all the mana already, and he has Frixion on life on board. Rib into rhythm into evolution. Yeah, no. Definitely see your point of view on that, and I think it's very reasonable. If we can evolution into Glenalanja, we're pretty solid here with rhythm. Double bloom again. They've got a third bloom. Run out this. We could run out the rhythm here, or we can evolution into a Rex Sage, but against the Prism to keep him at three mana next turn. Um, or we go land, rhythm, 
beat them for one, pass, and then on our turn we can go land scrib, sack. I think powering out, powering into an evolution seems like they're our best bet. Because we can go, I can do both. Untap that, bounce the forest, give them a life, and we'll play out this rhythm and pass it over. So now we can go green, green, untap, bounce. Evolution away the script. And we can grab a Glenelandra. And we will give it haste. Swing. And we can counter two spells this turn. And I don't think I care about the Lotus Blooms anymore. Because we only care about the actual, like, Adnaz itself. So we'll let these resolve. See what our opponents got for us, because we've got them in a pretty strong lock right now. As long as we're countering one of the main spells, I think they'd have to get enough mana to where they were. Fetch this up. Counter the first bloom because they can double add nos. Second in response to the first. That's true, George. We can 
don't want to counter it because I counter thing just go off. So we'll let it go. And I definitely should have tapped the noble there. Obviously, instead of tapping this steam bed, so it could have kept the blue up. So that was a mistake. Definitely a good call, though, George. That's a. Did not think about double ad nos. So are they just, like, they don't have anything here, so we just let them go? Because they don't have an Angel's Grace or anything going on right now? Because is they're out in their eyes just revealing until they hit a double ad nauseum? Or just letting us, trying to bait us into a counter right now, and then... Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. So if they cast the unlife here, Okay, we got two unknowns in their, or three unknowns in their hand right now. <laughs> you just counter it, right? Here, because we get rid of the last reckoning if they have exactly Adnaz and um, Angel's Grace we can interact with it with Spellskite. Thoughts? Well, if we counter it right now, we would get to keep our spell sky. And if they don't have exactly Angel's Grace ad nauseum, um, we would be fine. Because I don't know if they, I don't know why they would have um, ad nauseum if they had exactly ad nauseum, another ad nauseum.
Okay, I'll let it go. Stone on tap, they'd have to burn a Lotus Bloom to drop out this Phyrexian Unlife. We're just going to run out Vanifar and hold up one counter and swing for lethal. Force them to give up their Laboratory Maniac here. Oh, I guess we can go Bird first, give it haste. We can combo them here. Um, downside is if they have like Angel's Grace, I guess, it stops them. to go for the combo. Scribs already gone, so we have to sack the Lenalandra. I'm making this more difficult, but Crassus 
untap Glenn Good Kiki I think we just run it back. Sweet. This is going to be our last game for tonight. I won't be able to stream on Sunday as I normally do, just because I'm going to be um, in in Franken move, so. Oh, this hand's awkward. So this hand doesn't technically do anything is the problem, but it does have all the accelerators we want. Um, hmm. Reasonable to watch uh, Dragon Ball Kai. Hmm. I have a hard time keeping this hand because we just aren't doing anything proactive other than just dropping creatures on the board. So I think we have to we have to mull this. Oh, this hand is really close. If we draw like a mana dork here, um, we're gonna be pretty happy. I think I think the upside on this hand's high enough here that we are gonna keep it. Um, we are four. I'm going to shift that to the bottom. We're 4-0. Oh, we're in the fifth match right now with this deck. Um, and I believe with the other deck we went 3-2. So definitely not bad. Definitely going to make a small profit tonight. Definitely could have used a dork the first couple turns. We could have powered out Glen Alondra, but now we're just basically at their mercy. Steam Bell 
Ingredients. And if they have it this turn, they win. If not, we can try to lock them out. And that's game. All right, you, you got it. Do they need another ad nose? They don't. Oh. My deck are theirs. Their deck is Ad Nauseam, so they uh, play that spell that's on the stack right now, the double black, uh, three colorless. And they play that and then just draw their entire deck when they have Angel's Grace and uh, cast before it or a Frixion Unleft, so they can just draw their entire deck. And then they uh, exile Simeon Spirit Guide, three of them, and that, so they can have three red mana. Because they have the entire deck in hand, they cast Lightning Storm and then just discard lands from their hand to shoot you and kill you at instant speed. Uh, th but the problem with their deck is they just need a bunch of mana and setup time. Yeah, they play like a bunch of like those mana rocks you see, the Pentad Prisms and Lotus Blooms, and then a bunch of draw spells. And then mm, they run uh, either the Laboratory Maniac Win or the um, or the Lightning Storm Win. So there's a Serum Vision. And slide of hand. Exile all the blooms. And they got Frixion on life, and they have one mana open. It is unfortunate they have one mana open, because we could have zealous, took their Frixion on life, and swung at them and killed them. Gemstone, Temple. Simeon. Okay. We've got Prime Speaker. It's unfortunate that we have Zealous in hand, but we can prime speaker out um, the Galenalandra, grab. No, Kiki Jiki didn't do enough. Hmm. 
Oh, uh, Prime Speaker, it's because it has, uh, it's a legendary, so all legendary creatures have that now. Unfortunate that Zealous is in our hand. Alright, I believe their hand is... It's not... Yeah. It is Dark Slick, Sea Chrome, Angel's Grace, Angel's Grace, Slaughter Pack, Lad Maniac, and Simeon. No, they just... Yeah, and Simeon, because they... Uh, we removed one. So we can... Prime Speaker away Glenelandra here. Get a Kiki and swing at them and then next turn have lethal holding up prime speaker i mean holding up uh glenelandra here alternatively we can just swing put them into the negative hold up cord if we needed it which we shouldn't and then oh wait no we can just swing at them if they We'll swing at them, and if they want to take the hit, they'll go to zero, and then we just zealous? No, 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 we can't just zealous, but we're going to swing at them. Put them at this predicament first. Um, I think we just want to, I guess we just want to hold up the counters then, huh? Because we'll have, they don't have enough mana to go off multiple times. Yeah, no, they, they'll get their uh, friction on life back. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to zealous and take their stuff, but I don't think we can do that. I think we just have to pass here and hold up all the counters. So unlife here. Another one. One, two, three. One, two, three. I think we're safe to counter this. Uh, no, they're they're already in the in the zero. Uh, it's the, the, we have to deal another ten points to them now because we're dealing infect damage, uh, technically, and if we zealous, we'll make them burn an angel's grace. But that's really it. to get zealous in play but we can't tap out for zealous um, so I think here we're just going to e -wit. bring back the land play the land and the swing at them and that way we can have Try to get up the mana here because we need to get more mana so we can cast Zealous without um, sacrificing um, the ability to counter any spells.
sure. I think we're good with that. I can't do anything about it anyway, so. I think we can Vanifar now. Just gonna grab the key key here and then we're just gonna swing and I'm just gonna pass to them And we've got three counters here. Oops, we got there, folks. Oh, five and oh, that was great. Oh, drop that. 